The church did not accept Galileo's claim that the phases of Venus proved a sun-centered universe. So he set out to find physical proof that the Earth was moving. From his younger days in Venice, where the water level could rise or fall many feet in a day, Galileo had developed an interest in the tides. Just as water sloshes back and forth in a swinging container, Galileo reasoned that the Earth, as a giant vessel spinning on its axis, might cause the seas to rise and fall twice a day. He believed that the tidal motions of a body of water like the Mediterranean might offer proof that the Earth moved. To make the water contained in the basin of the Mediterranean behave as it does surpasses my imagination. Perhaps that of anyone else who enters more than superficially into these reflections. Some say Aristotle, after observing the tides for a long time from some cliffs, plunged into the sea in a fit of despair and willfully destroyed himself for the mystery of them. Up to this point, he's been very bold. In 1616, he had, in fact, circulated, given to some cardinals, um, a, a tract on the tides in which he argued that this is actual physical proof that the earth moves. He does think enthusiastically, think passionately, think that he has the key here to prove, to demonstrate the earth's motions by turning to the uh, motions of the tides. Now, we know that that is, in fact, incorrect, but uh, he thought he had it. For once, Galileo's intuition failed him. Although a link between the tides and the phases of the moon had been observed for centuries, Galileo rejected the idea. For him, the suggestion that the moon could influence events on Earth smacked of astrology or the occult. The search for physical proof of the Earth's rotation would take another 200 years. I don't know. What a beautiful expression that is. So candid in its honesty. Much better than the occult explanations offered by certain philosophers. The number of people that can reason well is much smaller than those that can reason badly. If reasoning were like hauling rocks, then several reasoners might be better than one, but reasoning isn't like hauling rocks. It's like, it's like racing. A single galloping Barbary steed easily outruns a hundred wagon-pulling horses. <laughs> 